Today we're gonna to do something we've been putting off for far too long. We are gonna build a dedicated streaming PC and we're gonna bring you along as we do it. If you have watched our live shows, you've probably seen from time to time that we've had issues. And typically these issues happen at the worst time, like say right before we're about to go live. For the entire time that we've been streaming, we've been doing so from a PC that is also my 2GT work computer, my gaming rig, the PC I do my taxes on, you get the idea. Now it's time to build a dedicated stream PC whose sole purpose is to run our live streams. The logic here is this, using a system that's constantly changing from driver installs and updates, game installs and removals and so on has led to an unstable environment as we have seen. Having a system dedicated to a single task of streaming should mean we're always available when we hit go live. So let's get to those parts. Our objectives for this build are simple. We need a machine that's fast enough to handle the task of streaming using Streamlabs OBS, has dedicated HDMI capture capabilities for capturing our 4K DSLR video footage, and has a graphics card that's capable of supporting offloading of video encoding for the live stream. So let's go through the parts one by one and talk quickly about why we chose them. Let's get started with the CPU. Our streaming PC doesn't need to have cutting edge computer performance, so we're opting to go with the last generation AMD Ryzen 5 3600 XT CPU. This six core 12 thread CPU has plenty of power to handle multitask OS functions and streaming and leave plenty of overhead for the system. We bought the CPU for $240 on Amazon. For the motherboard of our system, we opted to go with a Gigabyte B550M Aorus Pro Micro ATX motherboard. This board ticked all the boxes for what we needed for our build and it was a steal at $120. With this dual M.2 NVMe slots, PCIe 4.0, and more, this board provides everything we need in a compact size and has storage room to grow. Speaking of storage, for this build, we chose the ADATA Swordfish 250GB NVMe. 250GB might not seem like a lot of storage space for a system these days, and if the PC was to be tasked with anything other than streaming, you'd be right. But because essentially we need space only for the OS install and supporting streaming software, it's a perfect match, and the drive only cost 38 bucks. For RAM, we went with 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM. Our two eight gigs of 3200 megahertz DDR4 memory is plenty of RAM for this system. It's also very pretty looking RAM and adds a little RGB bling to the inside of this case. This bulletproof reliable RAM costs a spectacle $83. An important component to our streaming PC is the GPU, and specifically, one that supported offloading video encoding from the CPU to the GPU where it's more efficient and less processor intensive. Streamlabs OBS supports NVIDIA's NVENC video encoding offloading, so, of course, that means we chose an NVIDIA GPU. We were lucky enough to get our hands on an EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU for this build for a grand total of $330. We bought this card before the release of the RTX 3000 series GPUs and the following GPU shortage in the market. Powering all this gear will be a Cooler Master MWE 550 watt PSU. We chose this 80 plus gold certified PSU for two reasons. First, it's fully modular, so cable mess is minimal and we can keep the build tidy. And second, it was a good deal at 90 bucks. This is our first time using a power supply made by Cooler Master, but we felt comfortable choosing this PSU because it has a five year warranty. On to the case. We chose to wrap all of this gear in a Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L. This little MATX case fits our motherboard perfectly and will serve its purpose well. Yes, this case has an acrylic panel. Yes, this case is cheap at $45, but the case isn't supposed to be a showpiece. Its sole job is to be a simple, affordable, and solid container for our streaming gear. Oh, and one last thing. As we stated earlier, our streaming rig needs a video capture device to take the raw video output from our DSLR and make it available in Streamlabs OBS. There are a few different video capture devices on the market today. Some are USB connected, and others like the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II are PCI Express add-in cards. We chose the Elgato 4K60 Pro for two reasons. First, our DSLR is a 4K 60 frames per second camera, and even though we currently stream at 1080p, it's fair to expect that someday in the nearest future, streaming standards will be 4K. And second, we've had direct experience with previous Elgato capture devices and know their quality and reliability. This device is a key component for our streaming build, and at a price of $234, it's almost as expensive as the CPU itself. All right, parts list out of the way, let's get to building. Throwing together the system was easy, and after installing Windows 10, our little stream PC was complete. In the future, we'll be replacing the included AMD Wraith cooler for something a bit quieter, just to make the system as silent as possible. After installing Streamlabs, OBS, and importing our configuration and settings, our little stream PC is ready to go. 
If we had any criticism of the parts we chose, we'd say we're 50-50 on the case. While everything came together fine, we did run into some quality issues with some of the board mounting standoffs and screws in the case. All total, our dedicated stream PC cost us $1,180. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for our video today. John and I generally hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed making it, and we'd love to know what you think of the video, the parts we chose, get down those comments and let us know. If this is the first time you've seen us, please consider subscribing because it really helps us out and keeps us making these videos. We've got a website right here. We put all the results from all of our testing of our other videos. No test in this video, but you get the point. We have a Discord right here. It's free to everybody. Join, hang out with us, talk to us about technology. It's a good time. And last, if you're a Twitter or Instagram user, follow us here at the channel. Thank you for watching. We will see you again soon.